<웃음> 요가. guys Stay tuned and hopefully you can learn some techniques here or there. I'll show you how I normally do my squats and I do it through my body squats when I'm kind of preparing to warm up for my session. So this is how I do my normal 10. Make sure that you're squatting near a mirror, right? Keep your, keep your eye on the mirror. And by keeping your eye on the mirror, you wanna make sure that you get your, your foot shoulder width apart. And when you get your foot shoulder width apart, you can kind of point them at an angle a little. And you can just get your chest out, try to aim up, keep your eyes up and above. And then me, I see that when I get past my 90, I use my back. So I'm gonna to try to stop at a direct 90 and see if that can help improve my form. And I try going slow so I can feel myself because I don't want my back to go all the way down flat. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. So I feel that by me being cautious and my being paying attention, I can benefit my form. Now I have to take this and apply it to my real squat session. So this is gonna take weeks and weeks of mental practice, of mental focus, and of mental effort. So I gotta make sure that I really understand what I'm doing. And that will hopefully translate itself um, to a proper 315 squat. Again, it's all about quality, not quantity. So it's all, it's all about the technique and less about the weight. Technique will get you form, form will get you results. But if you do it without technique and just for raw power, you're gonna get rawly injured. So make sure you pay attention to what you're doing and hopefully you can learn that from what I'm about to present you in my squat video. Thank you. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna do our five sets of squats. And what I'm gonna aim to do first is I'm actually gonna squat with the bar and I'm trying to get my form right. So I'm gonna make sure that I kind of practice without weight just so I can make sure that I'm good and I'm gonna pay attention to my form. I'm gonna pay attention to my back because again, I have this belt on for a reason. It keeps my back nice and straight so it kind of puts my abdominals in place so that I can kind of do this. So, um, yeah, just keep paying attention. These techniques are gonna be what keeps you having a long, well, get the mileage out of your back as you should. Right. Again, I'm gonna correct myself, I put low weight on. Again, don't give a damn about what people think about when it comes to the weight, bro. Again, like I said, it's all about quality, man. It's the reason why you're gonna love Five Guys way better than you love Burger King. All right, so let, let's, let's again focus on posture, make sure that you got your chest up, make sure you can do all the right things so that by the time you get to the heavy weight, you work your way up, you can, do that. You can get the weight in the right way without hurting yourself.
barbers. But if you're taller and you have a short torso like me, they say to high bar. So by high bar, it means keep the bar right up here. Aligned, it keeps your chest kind of like this. It makes your posture have to kind of settle like this. And when you're doing heavier weight, you must have a breathing technique. So basically, you breathe in when you're going down, you breathe out as you come up. That will completely help your abdominal stay nice and tight so that it basically helps support your back from being bent and keeping it straight. All right? So this is just a little, another lightweight again. And it's a lightweight, again, like I said, it's all about quality, not quantity. So let's yeah. go. All right? <laughs> Sets of exercises when it comes to my squat, so let's see how it looks right now. gonna get ready for leg day because today is a leg and ab day but get focusing on leg because I told you in the previous video that I'm trying to get my form better and one of the best ways to get our form better is to actually have more mobility and actually have these types of warm-ups that kind of train your mind mentally subconsciously to keep your back straight keep your legs and have your hips open up right and you know be able to kind of get things moving so that you're healthy so one of the tricks I learned recently after doing some research was I have a problem with the way I arch my back when it comes to squatting. So one of the tricks I learned is how to do wall squats with the medicine ball. So what you do is, again, this is performing. You come over on the side I want to show. What happens is because I'm leaning back and I'm going down, it trains me to kind of keep my back straight and allow me to have that muscle memory, and hopefully if I do it enough, to keep doing the reps properly so that when I'm squatting, I have this type of form mentally in my mind. So I'm going to do 15 of these. And then after that, I'm going to show you a version of it with, with weights. Alright guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the frog stretch to open up our hips. Especially when it comes to squatting, you want to have all the flexibility you can. So, you kind of spread your hips apart, you kind of spread it, you kind of want to look like a frog. You want to hold it for like 30 seconds. So now what we're doing is we're doing the couch stretch to kind of get the hamstrings nice and stretched and kind of get your hips in it. And if you want to make sure that you get the most out of it, the best thing to do is take this arm right here and put it right over your head, like this. You want to do it for about 15 seconds. And you're going to do three sets of these. After that, you're gonna switch sides. And again, 50 seconds, the 15 seconds could vary because I count a little faster in my head than the clock, so. Oh man. And you're gonna move this. You wanna make sure that you put this. You're gonna put this arm over your head. And again, you're gonna do 15 seconds roughly in your head. And you wanna feel all that tension right here loosen up. You're gonna do three sets of these. Good, bro. Last stretch that we're going to be doing is the pigeon stretch. So basically what you do is you kind of tuck this leg in right there, right across. You sit that left butt cheek as slow to the ground as you can. And after that, you stretch out the other leg. 
as far back as you can and you hold this position for about 30 seconds. You're gonna do three sets of that. And then we go to the squat rack because we ready for legs. We ready. We ready. 